Hey everybody, I'm going on a little bit of a quest today to see if I can find a, um, a tree-tipping snow lizard. They're kind of indigenous to this area. Um, and I know that they typically hang out around down power lines, things like that. But uh, I heard from a pretty reliable source that there are some of these tree-tipping snow lizards up on Copper Ridge. So I'm just going to go up here and see if I can spot one. It's a little windy on the ridge up here today, but uh, I did find something that looked like it could have been a potential sign of, a, of one of the tree tipping snow lizards. It is a little late in the season, there's not a lot of snow up here, but uh, it doesn't mean we're not going to find anything because it is a little bitter today with the wind. But uh, this tree here, let's see if you can see it, you can see it snapped off, it's a pretty sizable tree. Um, my concern is that it's busted off so high right here that uh, it's probably not a tree tipping snow lizard since they're only about four inches long. Granted they weigh about 5,600 pounds, but this was probably just an elephant. We're going to keep looking. Okay, I think we got something here. I'm going to lower my voice a little bit because I can see some snow in the background. And I don't want to surprise one of these things because they can be worse than a wolverine. And uh, we don't want that. But this is what I found. I found a, a stump here with a tree laying next to it. And uh, by examining this thing, you can see this little hole here. This was definitely a tree tipping snow lizard. So we're gonna keep an eye out here. Oh, look, there's another one. Look, look at that. Just look at it. Yeah, that's brand new. See, that other one was kind of old. And, uh, you know, I was thinking maybe it was a remnant of last year or something, but this is a brand new tree. This is a brand new tip. And uh, these things are out here. I'm gonna keep an eye out for them. Of course, I, I get a little excited, but I gotta keep my voice down because like I said, I don't wanna surprise them. Last thing I need to do is end up in the hospital. I think, uh, I think we're gonna find one. I am practically jumping out of my skin right now. You're not gonna believe this, look. A lot of people think that's made by a woodpecker. Mm -mm. Those aren't woodpeckers. Those are tree lizards. And uh, I've got a stick, and I'm going to check to see if there's one in there. And uh, I think there's going to be because it looks like a fresh hole. So here we go. Oh, God. That thing busted my stick right off. I don't want to be anything near that. That is amazing. I think we're gonna try to find one that's not in its home because obviously they can get pretty pissed off. Whew, wow. Okay. I had to catch my breath. I'm coming into snow country now. And uh, you know, I'm by myself. So if you guys don't get another message from me and say 23, 24 hours, then that's probably gonna mean that this is the last one for me. So, uh, I just want you guys to know that I did actually eat at McDonald's last week and I feel really bad about that, but you know, sometimes you know, you do stuff like that. But anyway, put that on my gravestone. See ya. Well, I haven't found a snow lizard yet, um, but I did find something that I think you'll find pretty amazing out here. And, uh, and here it is. It's tracks. And uh, there's only one thing these tracks could be from, as you can tell by the shape of the track. Um, that's a fuck off bird. That is a fuck off bird walking through the snow, and uh, you don't see those very often, but uh, that's what it is. I'm a little concerned. I am totally lost right now. I have no idea where I'm at. The snow is getting deep, real deep. Uh, I've been out here for wow so long I'm starting to get dehydrated and uh, starting to get a little scared don't know what to do <laughs> I'm, lost. I'm lost it's not that I don't like spam it's just a consistency thing and I don't like things that come in blue cans what about you Mr. Leafy do you like spam
17 bottles of beer on the wall, 17 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 16 bottles of beer on the wall, 16 bottles of Man, did I get lucky. Just so happens a troop of brownies came by and uh, happened to have some cookies with them. Gave me a little bit of that. That was good for my glucose levels. And a little bit of juicy juice that they had with them. And man, I am good to go. I think I was losing it back there. So um, I'm going to conclude this adventure and say that, um, you know, I just didn't see the one snow lizard I'm sure was there. And uh, there's nothing I can do about that because there are only so many risks a guy can take. And uh, being that I'm only 26, I got to kind of tone it down a little bit here, but I'm sure I'll do this again. Uh, my comrade Trey Brook, he's kind of behind this. He's the one that told me about these snow lizards up here. He's always Johnny on the spot with nature. So you'll be seeing more of this stuff in the future, I'm sure, probably on our YouTube channel. Or one of our YouTube channels, anyway. So for now, I'm going to cut you guys loose. <clears throat> Thanks for sticking with me. And uh, I'm going to follow these Girl Scouts back to my truck. See ya.